Today I'm going to show you how to add links to Google Slides and there's several ways to do it so I'm going to focus on the three most common. All right, let's go. Let's bring up the um, Google Slide that we're going to be working on. Here it is. Let's say you want to add a link to text. So visit the school website is the text that you've typed in by adding insert text box and then you clicked here and you typed that phrase. You want that to link to a website. So we're just going to um, highlight the words that you've typed. That's step one. Highlight the words that you've typed. Now you can uh, go insert link and you put HTTP. Let's say it's um, UCLA.edu. There you go. That's one way. I'm going to do command Z to undo that. You can also right click and choose link right there. That's the other way. HTTP colon slash slash edu uh, ucla edu that's the second way or the third way is you can just do highlight that and do command k on a mac and then type in your phrase you always have to make sure you click apply all right that's a text link we're going to leave that there now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to add a link to an image so let's say i have my bitmoji or let's say my wife's bitmoji is in there and I want to add a link to that image. So let's say uh, I want to link to her Twitter. So same thing. We know once it's highlighted, like the text, you can go insert link. You can do command K. And let's say I want to do my wife's add, add a link to my wife's Twitter account. So, so I'm on Twitter. This is my Twitter account. And I'm going to put in my wife's name here. We follow each other and I'm going to take her link right there. All right. And now what I do is I highlight that command K paste in and apply. Now, if someone is looking at this and it's in presentation mode, you can click on that and it'll open her Twitter account. All right. Now there is another way you can do this. Let's say you have an image like a background and you want to, you want to add a link over something but it's not a separate object, but you don't want to link the whole slide. So this is really um, cool. So I'm going to go, uh, let's see, let upload from computer. Let's say we have, okay, so I'm going to format the background. I'm going to choose an image for my background and I am going to upload it from something that I'm working on, which is a soccer themed Bitmoji classroom, kind of for the PE or outdoors feel. And so that's there. I have all these things here. I'm going to take away me and my wife. I'm going to take away this text link so there's no confusion. Um, but this is an image. None of these are clickable. There is no way to add a link to that specific uh, object because they're not separate objects. They're all a picture. However, I can simply go insert shape and then I'm going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle around that part. Now you see it filled it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go transparent. So now all of a sudden there's a shape on there that's transparent. I think there's a border on there. So we're actually going to make the border disappear as well. But I can click it because I put a shape and there's just no line and there's no uh, fill, no color fill. So now I can do right click and link and I can say, um, Oh, what is our agenda going to be? It's going to be something on YouTube. It's a playlist and I just link to there. So you can click and then they can click off that image or that part of the image to YouTube. All right. That's how easy it is to add links to a Google slide. Oops. I just noticed a typo right there. Oh, I'm wearing a jacket because we just started this YouTube channel and we already hit a th thousand. We already hit a hundred subscribers. And so we're, we're um, kind of excited. And uh, so let us know in the comments tutorials you'd like to see. And uh, we appreciate you. So thanks. Leave a like, hit subscribe, and let us know how we can help you. Leave your questions and comments. Bye.